Hell's Canyon. Formed by the ancient Missoula floods, this 10 mile wide gorge is the deepest canyon in North America, with nearly 8,000 feet of elevation change from the river's surface to the mountain's peaks. This vast wilderness is home to eight different species of fish and four of North America's most impressive big game animals, and not to mention some of the largest whitewater in the U.S. The adventure this place holds is what drew us here in the middle of winter. What unfolds next is for you to find out. This is what it's like when hell freezes over. So morning number two began, the sun rose and we walked outside and couldn't have been more surprised by waking up to the icy crystal clear skies and this incredible sunrise coming up over these mountains in the deepest canyon in North America. Um, and it really kind of set the tone for how that entire day was gonna go. Well, they call it hell. But it looks like heaven to me. A little bit of a late start this morning. We all got back probably about midnight last night back to the house, but we made it safe. The roads weren't quite as bad as we thought, thankfully. But uh, now that we've braved the roads and made the treacherous journey down, we're gonna go put ourselves right back in danger with some class four rapids and a 30 foot jet boat. So I don't even know what to expect today. I've ran this river before in a raft, but never been going up and down it in a jet boat before. So this is gonna be an incredible experience for you guys. A lot of different species to catch down here. There's probably 10 different species of fish in this river. So I think that's the most exciting part of today. And we got trout, steelhead, might be some old salmon. We got sturgeon, we got carp, we got catfish, probably some pike minnows. I could go on forever, but there's a lot of fish in here. So you guys are gonna have to stick around for the ride to see what happens today, but I can't wait. I'm getting a little nervous. All right, everybody, it's finally time you met our big lady for the day, Oso Grande. Look at this thing. Probably the coolest boat I've ever seen. Me and Littles, we're gonna hop on. Come on, what up, let's go. We've got our trusty crew on the inside here. Should make for a fun day. Justin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, thanks for having us today. Yeah, this is gonna be an incredible experience. Look at all that gear back there. <laughs> Gotta love when all the guys come fishing together, I right? I know, yeah. Just pile it all on. So tell us a little bit about what we're standing on here. So this is, uh, this is Oso Grande. This is actually our smallest, company's smallest boat. Uh, it's a 28 foot twin. Got two 440s, back the <laughs> so as we're winding our way down into the canyon, we finally reach Hell's Canyon Dam and we're introduced to this boat that we're gonna get to spend two days on. It's probably the coolest piece of machinery that I've ever got to ride up and down the river on, on some of the biggest rapids in the country. right into these rocks fishy. right here. You can fish both sides fishy of it. Fishy Yeah, usually it's down a little bit lower. We're just kind of spot hopping down river. The flow is really high, you can already tell. So some of the spots that they were thinking of fishing are gonna be a little too, too boily and roily. So we're coming into these slower moving eddy spots, looking for trout, looking for steelies. I'm guessing today they're pretty much all gonna sit in the same spot and probably bite the same thing. So, we got spinners, I got a addicted worm on this one. I got a bead set up, we got, oh my God. Oh my God. That was totally a fish. <laughs> Tipping our jig here, it's a little cuny bit. Trout and steelhead bait of choice. Canyon Rainbow. This thing's 
got here. Beautiful color in here. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Whoa. Rippers, aren't they? Dude, look at you, Bando! Look at you! No, it's a rainbow. <laughs> Football. Might go 20. Might go 20. <laughs> These things fight like nobody's business. Oh, it came off. Farmed him. Oh, that thing just rammed yeah, it. Might hammered it. It's either big trout or half ah, trout. That was awesome to watch in the middle of telling stories. Right. Grab it over here. And he just got slammed. Oh, oh really? <laughs> I can feel him hitting it. Come on. There he is. There he is. Got <laughs> uh, a boy. There he is. That's a nice one, too. Oh. Best thing that could have happened to that oh, little guy. There he is. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Dine it. Every time gets him every time. Little guy. We'll take him though. Oh wow. That's a nice trout. Come on over, buddy. Finally, a little persistent. Oh, there he went. That's alright. Better to not take him out of the water like that. We're not keeping him, but again on the little fly. Basically just a stone fly nymph with a with a uh, orange head. Looks pretty good. I'm sure this is actually a lot of what they're actually eating down in this canyon like this with these stone flies or any of the, the aquatic life under the water really. They're gonna pretty much be feeding on bugs this time of year other than maybe some spawning salmon eggs or something like that. But for the most part, I'd probably imagine they're gonna be pretty keened in on the bugs. So we head on down river and uh, initially, we're, we're going for steelhead here. We're, the idea that day was just to focus on steelhead and trout. And right out the gate, I started just getting smoked by Josh. Bobber down, bobber down, bobber down. And I'm, I got my Sinket Series jig on, and he's fishing a little like woolly bugger jig, something that we don't use where we steelhead fish, but it's very popular out there. And uh, I mean, honestly, I started to get a little sweaty on the back of the neck there, because again, it was he was just smoking me. I, I bet he landed eight or nine trout before I even had a bobber down and uh, finally gave in. I'm like, dude, open that jig box and give me a jig. Let's, let's get this going. And uh, then the real smackdown started. Oh God, oh God. Oh man. You just had to get the proper jig on. Seriously, went to a little bit smaller one even. The old Sink It series had a little bit too much profile, I think, for these guys. So went to a little bit smaller jig. It's a little yarn and marabou jig. Awesome. Just a beautiful, beautiful rainbow. Yet again. Oh, that one for a second felt heavy and then I felt the, the little fast uh, trout head shake. Head shake, yeah. And you do this little vibrating head shake and you can usually tell it's a trout that way. This one feels heavier though. At least we're keeping our bait fresh. Normally the trout eat up all the sand trim, they eat all the the bait that we're trolling for the steelhead, but heck with the, the route we're going, we'll keep our baits all day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is fantastic. As long as, as long as it reached the... It was the smallest one yet, but it's really chrome. Bye-bye. Quickie release. Oh, got him, guys, got him. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. So I was just working, you saw how weird of a spot I just caught that in. 
I was just working this little side channel, this little little backwater break of the main current. And look at that. What a beauty. Another just specimen of a trout. A nice little hatchery, dude. Got him. Got him. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I was just trolling it right along that wall that time. Just kind of getting it to lay right up. Oh, it's a bull trout. It's a bull trout. It's a bull trout. Oh my God. Oh my God. Come over here. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. It's just a wild rainbow. So a lot of those fish that we've been. Oh no, this one's a hatchery. This one's just been here longer. Yeah, I'm really screwing this, I, this identification up. I'm sure all of you are laughing out there. But nevertheless, one of the coolest, prettiest trout I've ever caught in Idaho. Look at that. Just an absolutely, incredibly colored trout. Look at that face. So pretty. Give him a little kiss, littles. Okay. See you later, buddy. Killer. What a backdrop for it, huh? Yeah. Awesome, I've been getting them just right along this little wall. Trout. See if you can run that jig right down there. Yeah. We got three of them. Here. Here. Got him. Yes, sir. Nice. He hit it like six times. I just kept missing him. They were right in that little sweet spot, weren't they? Yeah. That's awesome. Another pretty one. What is it with this spot? It's like a rainbow strike again. Hey, hey, little. little. Little one. Little. Little's ready for the catch and cook. Uh, yeah, right? He's like, screw the cook. Just catch it and I'll eat it. Sushi grade. What a cromer. It's awesome. Oh, bye bye, buddy. Off to the races. Nice, dude. Sweet. You're all bendo. We're bringing bendo back. really neat too how we were fishing multiple methods we uh we decided to go back troll in some spots because that's how these guys like to fish a lot we were running the running the plugs running the diver and baits back and me and and uh, josh are just running our bobbers and jigs cleaning out all the trout because a lot of times when you're fishing in, in hell's canyon especially there's so many trout and stuff you can't even get your gear down to the steelhead they don't even have time to get it because the trout are eating all the the sand shrimp or whatever bait you have on there the trout in the boat right That's one of the nicer ones. And so we're sitting there cleaning the house, catching all these trout in between all the uh, all the gear rods, which was really fun. And what do you know, that back rod just starts getting slammed. And I, I wanted to reach for it, of course, but my bobber was out, so I'm reeling as fast as I can. Cody grabs the rod, and there we have the first steelhead of the day. Something's there. Oh, oh he's on! Yeah, he's, he's on it. He's on. Oh, that's heavy. That's, that's heavy. That's that's heavy. Yeah, that's heavy. I got it. And he that's ate it for a long that's time, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. A good oh, that's a nice one. Nice color, too. Oh, it's a bus. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh. Let's try this again. That's close. Yeah, we got right. it this time. Come on. Got him. Woo! Yes, sir. Oh, I was like, yeah, nobody's going to grab the rod. I guess I'll grab it. <laughs> Dude, give me some. Nice fight. Man, it's just incredible, dude, how far this fish has come. Oh, yeah. How, I mean, far, how far from the ocean do you think we are right uh, now? 1,500 miles or something? Jeez. Unreal. How many dams, how many miles. I mean, they just keep coming, and look how fresh it is even still, too. Yeah. Yeah. Still got the fish, got a nice color to belly. it. Absolutely. Thank goodness for hatchery fish, or what would we, what would we be playing with? Yeah. God, nice, yeah, nicely exactly. done, buddy. Woo! Welcome to the camp. Yeah.
out. Darn it. Man, those are, those, bo those bobber downs will fool you all day long, man. It just drains. But how awesome. Two species, but we're really only one species because we're catching landlocked hatchery trout, basically. They're supposed to be these steelhead. Wow, this is a good one, though. Just buried that little jig. Perfect little specimen. I love the spots on that one right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Healthy, healthy little trout. Well, we couldn't help ourselves. <laughs> we took up a client, <laughs> cast it at the stupidest times. <laughs> Sitting right above a class, I'd say what, four and a half four, almost? Four and a half. Four and a half right about now at the water level, but you guys can see the horizon line behind us and nothing but peaks of waves in between. So we're gonna put these rods away so their captain doesn't get mad at us and hold on for dear life and go for a ride. So highlight of the trip. I had had the experience before of actually getting a float through Hell's Canyon on a raft years ago, uh, but it was in the summertime. Water was really low. They weren't exactly as intimidating or fun as some of the biggest white water I've ever ran, but they weren't quite as intimidating as they were in a 38 foot jet boat. It's something that I've never experienced before. But as we'd go up, you could hear the motor. You'd be going over these waves. You could hear the motor start cavitating, which means it starts sucking air into the pump. And uh, it really, it puckered my butt quite a bit at the beginning because we'd be getting right up next to these giant holes and you'd hear the motors, wah, wah. And, and, uh, and of course we'd pull right through and our captain was just a stud on the sticks. It was pretty cool. Super cool, we just finally made it back up river. It's getting a little later in the evening. Stopped and had ourselves a couple of bratwurst. And uh, just been having an all out incredible day so far, man. It's kind of like being in a twilight zone out here, isn't it? Yeah, it's a pretty awesome place. You don't even hard know to what it. time it is, who cares? What time of year? We're out here. Let me pull up to the hole and what do you know? Little goat sitting up there watching us. Mountain goats all through here. On the way back up, I bet I saw 15. So it's super cool to get to see these things as easy as this yeah. without having to hike miles or drive miles just be down on the boat and look at this, this lane right on the it's like it's like we're in the zoo almost yeah it's incredible down here god's country that might be a real one i don't know what it is <laughs> Get him. It's a good trout or a small, small, small steelhead. Good trout. Guys, look at this freaking trout, buddy. Wow. That is so incredible. Got him. Double, double trout, double trout. On the micros, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look how pretty that one is. Beauty. Guys, it's full mayhem out here. Full on mayhem. First, Josh and I both thought we were just hitting bottom the whole time, and then we noticed it's really deep, and that we were just. What do we got? Truth. We got full live action here, everybody. Can't even keep the lines wet. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat. Glasses all fogged up. You can like feel them take the bobber down too. They hit those jigs so damn hard. So we fished hard all day, had had an absolutely fantastic day. I think we landed two or three steelhead throughout the day and 20, 30, 40 trout, I don't know, I wasn't really counting. Um, but it was so much fun with the bobber and jigs because you're fishing ideal steelhead water and 
or nonchalant steelhead water and you're getting bobber downs every couple feet and every other one you could be a steelhead you never knew what was going to be biting that jig uh, and we cruise up to the last spot of the day which was this incredible pebble beach parked the jet boat and uh there's a big back eddy up at the top of it where this pinch came through and it was really fast water but we were in this pool basically and i cast my jig out had no clue how deep it was fishing a lot shallower than I thought it was. And we're just sitting around BS and kind of reflecting on the day. And I go to start reeling in, lo and behold, there's a steelhead on my rod. Not a bad idea, Sean. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, it's a steelhead. <laughs> we're over here trying to get drum shots. Look how tiny. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Walk at him. Heck yeah, you guys. First ever Hell's Canyon steelhead. Look at that little guy. He almost made it through the net. But he didn't go 20. <laughs> He'll go 22. Look at that. Well, there you have it. First ever Hell's Canyon steelhead. I'm proud of it, Tiny likes it. Nice little hatchery fish, we're gonna keep it for dinner tonight. We got a cool little catching cook coming your way tonight. I got a fun recipe that we're gonna do, but just pulled up, came up to this awesome little pebble beach. Probably, I was just saying how we needed to get like a new Facebook picture from this rock here. I look back over, <laughs> my bobber's gone. I felt him, <laughs> and there he is. Thank you, Mr. Fish. And then what ensued was the beat down of the day where we started really nailing some steelhead. Oh. Oh. Quick release. That's all right. Got the good fight out of her. Heavy. Fish on. Feels like it might be a real one. A real, real one. one. A real, real one. That was instant, really heavy weight. That was crazy. I just was out there kind of letting it swirl around. Went to reel in, got about a crank and a half, and there it was. Real, oh, dude, that's a nice fish. Another one was just following it, too, I swear. There's, there might be a big wad of them in there, man. Yeah, that's a really good fish. Ooh, it's got like that nice color too. Patrick! Yee! Yeah. them up, boys, on the micros! Awesome time. Nice! Almost had a double. We were sitting over here trying to take pictures, me and Sean with my fish. I wouldn't even really call it a steelhead, but it is. But look, uh, look behind us, what do you know? Josh is all bent up, that's been a trend today. Hard to have a bad day in the canyon, Yee! man. That's awesome. Look at that, right in the beak. That sucker, we could have fought that's him to the awesome. dam and back. Fish on, fish on. Oh, yep, it's a steelhead again. Another steely. Yeah, so we've been trying to get a, a little shot of this billy goat above us here for about 20 minutes, but every time we took up the camera to go do it, somebody hooked a steelhead. <laughs> this is exactly like yours too. I just started reeling in. Yeah, another nice one. See him flashing out there. Yours looks like a female. Ready? This fish was out there just smacking his cheeks, man. Stuck that jig in front of him, he couldn't help it. Nice! 
Nicely done. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm Good. talking about, dude. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sick. Thank you so much, buddy. Thanks for having us here. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> well, this has been a good day. Look at that fish. <laughs> That's what we call the old flying knee from the top rope, right? Pretty much last cast. Dustin had just walked back and said, all right, it's going to get dark on us. And I said, <laughs> okay, let's leave. Whoa, fish on. <laughs> Definitely got to thank the creator for that one. And Hell's Canyon Adventures, most definitely more than anybody but what an awesome day it's been dreamy out here it's just a picture perfect i mean every second of the day we were smiling and having fun it was so cool to get to share it with you guys we're gonna get this thing bled out we're gonna cruise back up river we're gonna get home get some dinner going and have ourselves an awesome day again tomorrow so don't miss the next couple days it's gonna be pretty cool We've got a whole nother agenda for tomorrow we'll have to stick around and see what that's all about so landing that second fish was a super proud and, and special moment for me. Um, one, it was on another river. It was on a new river that I'd never landed a steelhead before. And to any angler out there, they know how special that is to, to go to an area and be able to catch your fish on the first day. Something that, that you set in a goal in your mind of traveling and, ex and ex exploring and finding new water and then being successful at catching that fish. Uh, and it was so special to be able to be in the place that, that that fish was destined to, a thousand miles away from the ocean. It worked so hard to get there, taken so long, and then I got to meet it for just that short amount of time. It was really the highlight of my trip and, and kind of found a special place in my heart just with the setting and the friends and the camaraderie and, and how the day unfolded all together. It really made the trip super special. So as the night kind of came to a close, we went back to the house, had a fantastic steelhead dinner. I did one of my favorite recipes. It was total, it was total dude camp. I thought that was probably the best part of this. And it kind of brings to light the uh, camaraderie and the friendship. You know, I, I didn't know Cody or Josh or Dusty before this interaction with them. And the, the hospitality and the friendship and the love shown by these guys kind of just, you know, expresses to an extent fishermen in general and outdoor enthusiasts in general who are, are so inviting and loving to bring new people in and share with them the place that they love and the place that they hold dear to their heart and that creates their livelihood. Uh, and so as we sat around the table drinking beers and eating good food and laughing, it, it was just a perfect end to a perfect day and making new friends and catching awesome fish in the most beautiful place in the world. Real one. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a real one. one. That's Nice fish, guys. Well, we're gonna need to run up here. Look at that fish, guys. 